What is up guys? Welcome to your 11th, actually I had to think about that for a second, welcome to your 11th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about something called global and local variables. So the concept of a global variable is simple. It's any variable that you make that's outside any function and a local variable is simple. It's any variable that you create inside the body of a function. So, I mean, there are only two places you can make them, simple enough. But the rules, when you use them, they get kind of tricky. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Let me first demonstrate what a global variable is and when you're allowed to use it. Let's go ahead and make a variable called girl. And I'll set it equal to the name of my first girlfriend called Kelsey. I'm sure she will appreciate that. So, Kelsey, if you're reading this, what's up? And so, by the way, she wasn't technically my first girlfriend. I had a girlfriend in fourth grade named Nicole, but we really didn't, weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. She just let me play with her gigapet. It was nothing serious. Kelsey, I actually went on my first date with her. We went and saw, uh, what was it? The Wedding Singer with Adam Sandler, and he had a mullet. And I was extremely nervous the whole time. Hey, I was in fifth grade. Give me a break, guys. And her mom drove us there in her van, but still, it was pretty cool. So anyways, let's go ahead and make a function right now, and we'll call this spit. It really doesn't matter what you name it. I'm going to name it spit because it's going to spit out this name. So all this function is going to do is document dot write out on the screen the name of that variable, girl. Now check this out. Like I said, you can make variables in one of two places, inside the function right here, or outside of the function where we made this girl. Since this variable is outside of the function, we are allowed to use it inside the function right here. Now, let's go ahead and let me prove that to you right now. Let's just go ahead and call spit, and when I run that line of code, it's gonna type out Kelsey. And now, let me go ahead and document dot write that variable, and then this is gonna print out Kelsey. So anyways, the point I'm trying to get across is whenever you have a variable outside a function, you can use it both in the function and anywhere else in the program. So let me go ahead and refresh this and it says Kelsey, Kelsey, just as we predicted. Simple enough. But now let's go ahead and take this variable, cut it, and there we go. And let's go ahead and make it inside this function right here. So now inside this function we created a variable called girl and we're going to try to run it inside this function and outside the function so now let's go ahead and refresh and actually had to save that and refresh and we see we only get one Kelsey well why is that we made the variable it didn't have any typos we didn't forget the semicolon or anything so why is this Kelsey only appearing once well like I said with global variables, whenever you create a variable outside your function, you could use it in any function you want and also anywhere else in your program. But whenever you create a variable that's inside a function, you can only use that variable inside that function. If we had another function, we couldn't use it in that. If we had another function, could use it in that. And we're not allowed to use it outside that function. This function is very greedy. It says, Whatever my variables I create, they're mine. No one else is getting them, boy. So that's why whenever we called spit, it printed out Kelsey because this was the function. And then when we tried to just use it on our own, it wouldn't let us because it said, all right, the variable that I create, it's mine. I get to keep it. So that's why it only printed out once. That was the functions call, not the one outside. So anyways, the point I'm trying to get across, global variables, when they're created outside any function, you can use them anywhere, inside functions, outside functions, whatever. But whenever you create a variable inside a function, it's called a local variable. And that variable can only be used within the function in which it's declared, aka created. So that is your basics of global and local variables. And yes, that is the technical term for them, global and local. So if you have a test, it's okay to write global and local. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for putting up with my history of fifth grade girlfriends. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. And hey, again, Kelsey, if you're watching, what's up?